My name is Patrick Murphy Racy, and while people hire me all the time to shoot weddings, I am most emphatically not a wedding photographer. I have more than 20 years experience shooting pictures as a full-time professional. I started out in college taking a photojournalism class and worked my way up into shooting part-time at the Milwaukee Journal while I was still in school. The more I learned about photojournalism, the more inspired I became to really get good at it. Once I graduated, I began an editorial journey that took me to four states working in newspapers. After a few years, I also started shooting for magazines. And then finally, I began working for Sports Illustrated on a weekly basis. That period of my life was really fun. I was rubbing shoulders each week with the best of the best, but it was also difficult to be on the road all the time and be away from my wife and my family. We were all fiercely competitive, trying to get published every week. Over time, I began to miss the simplicity of my old newspaper assignments, moving in and around normal people. A friend asked me to shoot her daughter's wedding, and I was insulted. I didn't think much of wedding photographers back then, but she was persistent and wouldn't take no for an answer, and so I finally agreed. But I set a few ground rules before accepting the assignment. I didn't want anyone to ask me when to cut the cake, or if it was time to serve dinner, or what time to toss the bouquet. I explained that I simply wanted to document the day's events, starting in the morning and staying with the bride and groom until they left the reception late at night. It was sort of Life Magazine meets your family's wedding kind of thing. I simply hung out, made friends, shot images that moved me, and tried to capture the beautiful relationships that unfolded throughout the day, which was filled with ultimate meaning. The end results of that first wedding were pretty cool. Surprisingly, I had really enjoyed myself and began to wish I could do more often. I was shocked to find others that thought my approach was something that had value. And slowly at first, I began to book my first couple of weddings. So my technical skills are really good. I use the same equipment I use on Sports Illustrated assignments to cover your wedding. So if you're having a candlelight service, I'm all over that. Low light is my friend. I'm also very skilled at shooting portraits using extensive lighting equipment. And I love to make portraits of people on the most special of days. Speed is another important attribute of what I bring to the wedding day. There's nothing worse than waiting around while someone fiddles with lighting or other equipment while everyone really wants to eat and be at the reception. I'm fast, blazing fast, but my quality is still high. At Sports Illustrated, we never got a lot of time with people, so you had to learn how to really prepare for your assignments in advance and be ready when the subject was or miss the opportunity altogether. I'm extremely committed to black and white photography, and my wedding albums usually only have one color image in them. It's sort of my trademark. When you look at a so-so color image, you still have the color going for it. When you make a great image in black and white, content of that image is everything, as there's no color to help you out. It's timeless and it screams off the page of a wedding album. What I do for people at their weddings is not for everyone, and I'm the first to admit that. If you're looking for a photographer to shoot every table at the reception, or shoot down a long list you got out of a bridal magazine someplace, I'm not the guy you want to talk to. I'm not going to walk around at your reception and make on-camera flash pictures of people looking like deer in the headlights. I use existing light around me, and then use more subtle flash techniques so as not to ruin what it really looks like at your reception. There's often a lot of movement in my images. I don't want to freeze people dancing. You want to see more of their movement, and this gives a more natural and organic feeling to the pictures. But if you're looking to have someone capture the ordinary moments of an extraordinary day, I might be your guy. If you're looking for a top-notch bridal or engagement portraits that really show who you are and who you're marrying, I might be your guy. If you're looking for a photographer who works for God first, and then himself, and then in third place for you, I might be your guy. I charge a lot of money for the services that I provide, and I'm going to be a good steward of that money. I work very hard at my wedding photography, and I'm always pushing for excellence in everything I do. Photography for me is more than how I provide for my family. Put simply, it is my vocation. It's my life's work for God. This is how I approach my assignments, knowing in my heart that I'm doing what my Creator wants me to, 
and pleasing Him at least in this one area of my life. Once the wedding is over, my job is only partly finished once I stop shooting. My work is an unfinished canvas at that point, as I take great pride in designing my wedding albums myself. You select the images that go into it, but then I take it from there, and I create a masterpiece that tells a story of your day. There's a lot of fads and stuff in wedding albums these days. My albums are beautiful in their simplicity. They are big, black and white, and heavy, just like my work. They're designed to be relevant in 50 years on your anniversary and not look outdated in three years. I appreciate you listening to me and looking at a few of my pictures. If you have any questions, give me a call and we can talk about what's on your mind and your heart too. I'm Patrick Murphy Racy, but remember, while I shoot weddings, I am not a wedding photographer. May you stay centered on the goal of being in God's will for the rest of your lives together. I hope to share my gifts and celebrate with you as you give all of yourselves to one another in profound love. May God richly bless you and your family, and may you find peace amid the whirlwind of planning that I know you're going through right now. My wife Ellie and I have been married for 19 years. Don't kid yourself into thinking that your wedding day is the best part of your lives together. It's just the beginning. It keeps getting better all the time. Did I mention I'm not a wedding photographer? <laughs> okay, see ya.